One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. Four. Dun, 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 dun. It's the song that goes. Start on four. Four. Dun, 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 dun. I think it's Jeff Lynn, maybe, something. Don't know. Hilarious. <laughs> um, so I've got a chat okay. this week, Kev. Let's excellent, get on with it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on. It's the continuing sagas of Sam, Sam and eBay, basically. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think when I explain it to people, they're a little bit like, what? Why are you worrying? Like, sort of thing. But, uh, okay, so as I'm, I think I've mentioned before, I've got an allotment out the back, which yeah. I've done bugger all with, but put some fruit trees on there. Yeah. yeah. Over the Christmas period, I was getting really like, oh man, I've, I've had that for like over a year now, a year and a half, and I haven't done anything with it. This year, I'm going to do it, despite the wedding, despite everything else. Um, that's our year. This year yeah. is, is, is a do it. This is the year. It's yeah. all going to happen. Um, so, you know, I'm pricing things up. And uh, one of the things I want, I've always wanted to get up there is because there's no, there's taps up there, but you can't run a hose to them. It's quite far from the plot and you're limited to how much water you can take. And I want to do the minimum effort, no dig, sort of raised beds yeah. type thing, which I think needs a little bit of extra water. Anyway, so I've been interested in getting an IBC up there, which is a thousand liter. It's like a cube um, shaped uh, container. You can put taps in there. There's all sorts of standard connectors for them. Fantastic. They come in cages and you can stack them on top of each other. But I'd only need one. A thousand yeah. liter would do it. Um, yeah. And I found one over Christmas. Some guy who's got a load of them, he's selling them um, for like about 50 quid. And he'd deliver to the local area because it's always been about delivery with the IBC. I can't get one in the back of my car because they're so big. Mm -hmm. so I need a van and it's sort of like getting someone who's available with a van to go and pick it up so great this will do I sent him a message will you deliver to this allotment he said it's just out of the range but it's like it's only just out of the range I'll charge you an extra three quid I thought it was a bit strange why wouldn't you just say yeah I'll do it <laughs> but I mean you want the extra three quid mm -hmm. I'm, I ain't got a problem with that so we arrange it for last Friday um last friday afternoon i just tell them look i'm available in the afternoon thinking i can it's, it's gonna be 10 minutes um to go and drop it off he said he'd help me drag it to my plot because i said are they heavy so oh, they're not heavy at all we'll get it to your plot don't worry um i said it'll be like 10 minutes to go around there uh and get the get the thing and then lock up and, and come back so friday you know i'm waiting around friday i'm just sort of like constant eye on my phone uh no message till about four o'clock. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it today, so I just haven't. I'm going to, okay, fair enough. We'll have to do it Monday. Are you available Monday? And I'm like, oh, okay, but yeah, I'll, I'll be available. So anyway, Monday comes, same thing. Leave yeah. it to the last minute. Yeah. Tuesday, and and at that point, I've done a bit of research, and and there's a problem with water containers. The reason water butts are always um, like a dark color, dark solid color, yeah, is because if sunlight can get in there, you will get algae. And these oh. are white plastic, you see. Yeah. Sunlight will get through, so you've either got to coat it in something, get a UV-resistant one, or, or paint it in something. So I start thinking, uh, is it worth the effort now? This guy's messing me about a bit. Yeah. Um, I have got black plastic up there. I've been using um, some damp-proofing plastic to kill off the grass. Right. So I have got the plastic. It would be it'd take a bit of faff, though, because I've got to get it again. Mm. So I'm, on a, I'm in an R in. And then on Tuesday, you know, I think I'm sort of... Leaning towards probably not going for it. Too many other things to sort out. Uh, he texted me, he messaged me. Actually, this is all over eBay messaging. He messaged me about half 11, saying, Are we still on for today? And I feel quite a little bit obliged to the guy because I messaged him quite late over uh, New Year. Right. And, it, and he replied. Right. And we've, you know, we've had fairly kind. So I felt a little bit obliged to the sale. Um, I thought, wow, it would be one thing done. I can just get the IBC up there. I don't need to get it set up. I've got it then. Uh, yeah, let, let's do it. So he says, you come to my house, and then we'll go to the allotment, which is literally 15 seconds. It's all down to the roundabout. Turn left, and you're there. Um, so he turns up. He knocks on the door. I said, okay, I'll, I'll come out. I'll come out, get into his van. I said, literally, mate, it's just around the corner. I said, just go down to the roundabout, turn left. So he did that. I said, turn left immediately. He goes, oh, flipping it. It really is just, just next to your house. I said, yeah. Now, there's two sets of gates to get into the allotment. Yeah. So I go to the outer one. The outer one, the padlock's not on there. So I think, great, open that. So I opened it. 
he drives through. I walk up to the next gate, and the padlock's off on that one as well. So someone's obviously in the in the allotment. Mm. Slide it, slide the bar open, push the one side open, push the other side open. Get back into the van, and he drives forward. As he's driving forward, one of the gates starts coming in. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, now it was. I mean, it was. There was a bit of wind around that day, so it's obviously the wind's picked up a little bit, and yeah, it's yeah. just started pushing it. And uh, there's a. I think there's a location hole. I'm not sure. I haven't actually gone back to check, uh, but there's a groove where the bar goes in. You like push a bar into the ground. Yeah. There's a groove sort of thing, and I pushed it into the groove and I pushed right, it back. It's, it's a started to be yeah but yeah. I yeah I don't think it was fully uh, fully located yeah. but we watched it and I go oh mate and he, uh, he stops and we watch it and he goes dunk oh. into the side of his car yeah or his van uh, now this is a pretty posh van yeah oh, okay it, yeah it's quite a nice one. when he pulled up to it I thought oh, flipping out what are you <laughs> what in you my head that yeah. wasn't yeah I thought it would be like a bit yeah. of a um, the Mercedes just a guy sprinter. like yeah just a normal box van but it was a pretty posh van Anyway, so he he says, "Oh, that hasn't done anything, has it?" Because it, well, it, I mean, it looked light, but I know the slightest thing on your car, it can it can dent it. So I get out, I look, and there's a there's a the mark, there's a mark, there's a there's a dink. Yeah, basically, it's not caved in or anything like that, mm. but there is a dink, and I think, oh, flip it out. I feel, you know, I feel pretty yeah. bad for the guy. Yeah, because it's sort of like come in, uh, and he's looking, oh, flipping out. I've only just got this. This is an import. Um, <laughs> I've I've only I've only had it since November. Uh, I can't I can't even get parts for it because it's a, a, an import. I'm like, oh, well, that's okay. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is a van, so yeah. it's gonna get it's gonna get dinked, isn't it? I mean, mm-hmm. so yeah, there's a. And if he's bought it and he can't get parts for it, no, I just I just kept saying sorry, mate, sorry, mate, because I did. I feel I felt bad for him, like you know. I mean, mm. I mean, he was a bit, he was a bit sappy, you know. He was sort of really quite. Yeah. He was driving a van, but he didn't feel like a guy who, who drove a van. You know, <laughs> van drivers, they tend to be quite... They know what they're <laughs> doing. <laughs> but this guy, it was a bit, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's because, I don't know. Um, anyway. So then he starts going off. Who's going to pay for this? And I said, well, I don't know, mate. It's... Uh, the wind. It's the wind. <laughs> you can't make the wind pay for it. No. You didn't secure the gate properly. Um, which may be true. Maybe not. I mean, it, it was secured as I secure it every other time I go through the gate. Yeah, I mean, thing. if you both sat there and watched it move, yeah. he, he could have got I it mean, if he was nearer to the gate as well. Exactly, and I was, you know, by the time I come first. back from the gate, I got to the car, and by all that time it hadn't moved. You know, it looked, yeah. it looked, it looked secure, like, and yeah. it, it was secured the same way I've always secured it. And you're right, it was on his side. And we did kind of watch it. I mean, there may have been time to reverse. I don't know. It's all in the moment now. Yeah. I kind of feel. I, I, I do remember thinking, "Well, why isn't he reversing?" <laughs> but you've got to remember, you've got to get it into reverse and go. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you've got yeah, to make a decision it, there. It sort yeah. of, and that decision didn't make. You just, we just sat and watched it. Yeah. So we have a bit of a, a bit of a set two over it. Not like a major argument or anything like that. I, I'm just saying, well, I don't feel responsible, so I don't think it's anything to do with me. It's an act of God. You, it's a. It's it's the wind line. literally yeah. Yeah. yeah you can't you know you can't hold me responsible for this and then he starts going on well I've got to pay for this because I've delivered this to you I said well that is your job mate like uh, <coughs> yeah and you know I mean I've ordered stuff before and quite often they stipulate they'll only deliver to the curbside only because yeah. of this type of thing because it goes onto private land exactly yeah it's very yeah, yeah. it's so very you difficult bring a posh. Posh van. Yeah. Posh, posh van. And, you know, if you're worried about it because you've only had it a month, you know. Don't you take m- it into some allotment. You make sure into. it's a sc- secure, you know. Yeah. Um, if it's, you know, if it wasn't secure. It's obviously not. I mean, if it, if I'd obviously not secured it, he would have said to me, ah, that, that's not that's not improperly. Yes. So, you know, he, he thought I secured it anyway. So I'm a little bit like, thing. I said, but in my head, I think, well, I am caught in the moment here. I don't feel responsible at all. I kind of feel the guy's clutching a bit because he feels well, aggrieved. Yeah, you can understand the, 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 the knee-jerk response, can't you? What you've done to my car! Um, but I think maybe if I get home and think about it a bit more, you know, uh, maybe I would want to offer him something, you know, just not not offer to pay for it, but maybe, maybe I'll offer him a little bit towards it sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So I say to him, look, mate... I." I honestly, I don't think it's anything to do with me. I mean, the sale's off now. I so said, I'm not interested in this now. I don't, 
we've lo- I've lost trust basically. Mm. Um, the best thing you can do is go home, get some quotes, and email me, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, and we'll take it from there. Yeah. So I'm not accepting responsibility. Yeah. Um, I do get the feel that there's a sort of slightly litigious atmosphere in the air. Yeah. Um, and I, I might have inspired that because I did say, well, look, we've obviously got a disagreement here. What third party are we going to go to to get this sorted? Mm-hmm. I said, we need an independent third party to look at this. Yeah. And he looked a bit funny and said, well, we haven't made an agreement yet. I mean, weird thing to say. But there we go. Mm. Um, so I said, look, back out. We're not going to do this now. This is um, this is ridiculous. He said, I've got your contact details, haven't I? I said, yeah, yeah, you've been to my house. <laughs> <laughs> You're hiding from me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, uh, and uh, he's got my phone number because I sent my phone number over eBay, which I shouldn't have done because mm. um, that's against eBay rules and regulations. Yeah, yeah um, for that reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he gives me his business card with his his details on there and he and he buggers off and I, I in my head I think he's probably going to go home think about it not realize it's just an accident and I won't hear anything anything again normally that would be the normal yeah yeah um that didn't happen <laughs> uh, he he texts me the next evening to say he'd had a quote from a company in Mansfield for two hundred and thirty pounds, <laughs> yeah, uh, and sent me a link to the to the quote, which I thought was again a bit weird. Yeah. Um. At which point, I think this guy's taking the piss. Yeah. You know, we're in a major metropolitan area. There are body shops in that major metropolitan area. Yeah, he's gone somewhere weird. He's gone it, somewhere yeah. way out the way and got what I suspect is quite a over the top quotation yeah you know i would imagine top end for something like that you're talking about 150 quid yeah uh yeah. average and and if you shopped around you get it done for about 100 quid maybe 120 sort of thing 100 to yeah. 120 i think is reasonable yeah yes yes um i'm gonna debuzz that distracting um so now i think the guy's the guy's taking the mickey a bit here. He's trying to inflate the price. He wants he wants to come to some deal. Uh, let's say it's 50-50. I want you to pay half for it. But he's only actually ever going to get it done for half that, that price. That might... That could yeah. be. Yeah. So I, 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 straight away, I think, nah, there's there's something not legit here, um, yeah. which obviously gets my back up. So I just ignore it. Right, yeah. Yeah. I think, I'm just going to ignore this. You know, he's, he's, he hasn't got a leg to stand on. Yeah, that's the th- if, and that's the thing. If you, if he'd been reasonable, you would have actually probably pro- if he'd have said, "Okay, I can do it for 120 quid, pay half, and we'll be done." You uh, you you may have caved after a bit. Uh, uh, Sarah was starting to to cave. I I don't think I would have paid half. You know, I I think that's a bit well, it is. excessive yeah. for what I'm allegedly supposed to have done, which. I think it's very dubious, you know. Well, you think about it, he drove his van. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's in control. Imagine, right, you have a, a, a crash in your car, yeah? Yeah. It's the and, passenger. And someone's not wearing their seatbelt. Oh, you're who, responsible, yeah. You're responsible, you know. Yeah. If you're in, if yeah. you're driving a car, yeah. you are responsible for that car, yeah? And what happens to that car? Well, look at it this and What way. happens in that car? Yeah. If you if it went to court, you would you would win. I mean, uh, this is what I'm assuming. No, yeah, yeah. This is what I was assuming. I thought, uh, well, unless you close the gate on his car, which yeah. you didn't. Um, so I just ignore it. Next night, it's been 24 hours now, Sam, mm. and you're obviously not intending to uh, um, pay for this. Which you are. I've I have footage on dash cam of you not securing the gate properly. I bet he doesn't. Yeah, um, and uh, I will I will take this to small claims court um, if you don't do it. And and for that, I need your full name and title. Um, no, sorry, I have got it slightly wrong. So I I did respond to him. Right. I said I've been thinking about it. I'm not responsible for this at all. You can't hold me responsible for the wind. Yeah. Um, you need to. I, I recommend you go claim on your insurance. Yeah. Yeah. And then he comes back. Well, obviously you're not going to do it. I need. Please give, send me your full name and title, 
because I want to go to small claims court if you don't if yeah. you don't want to come to some agreement over this. Uh, and I ignore that. And then he says, it's been 24 hours now, Sam. And essentially the message was, uh, if you don't give me your full name and title, I'm going to go to the police and they will get it for me and I'll make a complaint to the police. And then in five days' time, I will... Um, I will start court proceedings against you. And if it go, if I go to court, uh, I need to make you aware that the car will be off the road for three days while it's being fixed. And I will be hiring a car and I will be seeking costs for that. And I will also be seeking court costs and solicitor fees. Mm-hmm. Right, so he's really... He's trying really hard. He's trying really hard, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, th- I think about it and I think about it. And I'm really quite... I feel like he's really putting the pressure on here. He's obviously wound himself up. Yeah, he's wound ridiculous. himself up. And, he, and you know, he kept saying this bullshit. You know, I've, I've actually been involved with a a small court case with work. Right, yeah. And they did exactly the same thing. It's sort of like um, everything they, they, they sign off everything with send without pre- prejudice. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a sort of, look, I know what I'm doing. I'm getting legal advice. You need to, I'm going to come and down on you like a ton of Brits, if not. And I was a little bit worried because it did sound like he knew what he was talking about and it sounded like he was getting some kind of legal advice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I said, I, if, you know, I thought about it and I sent him a message saying, I will respond to you within the, in the next couple of days. Yeah. And then he came back. He goes, thanks, Sam, for responding. Uh, I do need your full name and title for the file. And if you don't supply it, I will go to the police. Um, but I, I'm happy to suspend the, uh, the the timeline of the five days for starting court proceedings by two days while you mm-hmm. while you decide what you're going to do. And so I just leave it there. Yeah. Silence. And I, I spoke to, I realised I had a bit of, um, I got a bit of free legal advice. Uh, well, I got two sources. There was a place on the internet which lets you connect with a lawyer. Oh. A solicitor. Yeah. You pay forty pounds a month, and you, you can ask as many questions as you want. It's not like they're going to write letters for you, but you can ask them questions about the law and stuff like that. Brilliant. But you could get a seven-day trial for a fiver. <laughs> I thought I'll do that. Just yeah. So I got a few <laughs> questions. So I kind of, um, I kind of quit, but I was a little bit unsure about it because it was an online service. I thought, well, how legit is this? Yeah. This, yeah, this yeah. is probably yeah. dealing with about three thousand questions. She seemed to be dealing with mine quite off the bat, and she seemed to be telling me what I wanted to hear. But it must be exactly the kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, her her point was he's, he hasn't got a leg to stand on. Uh, with regards to the police, he can't go to the police. It's a civil matter. Yes. Uh, so at that point, I'm thinking, well, th- that sounds reasonable to me. Yeah. There's a bit of bullshit going on here on his behalf. But it still seems quite, you know, I'm well, a, bit, a little all, bit worried. Yeah. Then I realise, about four or five years ago, I joined a union. Yeah. And obviously unions um, represent you in employment matters. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the services, you get a free half-hour consultation on any legal matters. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I wonder yeah. if I get that. You might do. Uh, oh, check that man. out, Kate. And suddenly I was like, flip. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. So, so, I mean, it took a little bit of um, a little uh, bit of time to sort that out because I need to call you back and I got through to the wrong department. But eventually I got there. Uh, and she says she's basically giving me a bit of advice saying yeah I don't think there's anything he can realistically yeah. do for you I said well should I respond with my full name and um, that that sounds dodgy in yeah. itself because I said to... I, I kind of felt, I wonder if there's an angle here that I'm not he's already got some of your personal details you don't want to give him any more well she said no do it you don't want to look like you're obstructing things she said do it you can ask him this question which I don't really want to go to on Okay, because okay. it kind of, but because um, it's a trap, we've got it. Well, it's not a trap; it's just like <laughs> I don't really want it, you know. Um, I want to see if 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 he does do what he's saying, whether he's actually complying with the law, whether he is actually getting um, legal advice. Because it did seem to at that point, as she explained to me, it seemed to me it was all bullshit. Yeah, I mean that's my response: is it's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure that's the way. Yeah. You're going to need to be 100%. And that's, yeah. that's what he's counting when, si- when you're in a situation, you don't want to... Yeah, you know. you can't, although it seems that way. You think, yeah, but, I mean, when, when it was at 280 quid, I did think, well, I'm quite, quite willing to go to court for 280 quid to mm. just follow it through. I'm 99% sure yeah. 
that it won't go against me, uh, but I'm willing to, to take it through. I was also told by the solicitor online that he cannot claim representation costs in small claims courts. So when he starts saying, uh, I'm going to claim a solicitor fees, well, good luck with that. And you can't do that sort of thing. Right, yeah. So he's obviously trying to put me under a bit of pressure, trying to get to me... Re- I felt like he was trying to get me to respond under under duress. Well, yeah, it's like if you yeah. don't if you pay the parking fine within the certain date, then it's half yeah. price. It's that it's that thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So I did go back to him. I texted him and I said, um, "Okay, this is my full name and title. I'll I will await your letter. I've just blocked him." Good, good. Right, you yeah. won't hear from me. <laughs> I bet I will. You oh, just actually, he'll, for, he'll forge a letter because people well, do. That, I but. don't know if he'll forge for- it. I mean, it is supposed to come from him. He doesn't need to forge one. But whether he puts the required information in there um, to do it um, is, well, he, he can't possibly because there is nothing no, no, that yeah. he can hang it on, yeah. sort of thing. So uh, The police will tell him where to go. <laughs> well, he's not going to go to the police because he's got my name and number anyway, but uh, my name and uh, title. Yeah. Uh, but the police would have told him where to go. Yes, they would have. Yeah. Uh, they said, so, well, you know, we're chasing down murderers and rapists here. <laughs> <laughs> just well, go he knock n- on his door <laughs> I nicked my own car and I'm blaming him I think it's his fault what's my dash cam footage <laughs> yeah I mean if he's, I, I would be quite interested in seeing his dash cam footage because if he has got it I, I'm well even if you, he might have it because it's a quite an expensive van yeah but even if he has the dash cam footage indicates you, you didn't put it in properly really and even if it I mean and then you, you didn't go in properly and you walked all the way and sat in it, that doesn't yeah. To me, that would be so unlikely. Yeah. You know, it's, so, just, it's just lying. But I mean, it's been so stressful, like. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Because it's not even a lot of money, but it doesn't matter, does it? No. It's, it's just horrible. Yeah. So, I mean, so basically, all my money at the moment has been sunk into savings for the wedding. Yeah. So, I haven't really got any spare. I shouldn't have really gone for it, but I was so. It was causing such a rupture in my mind that I had this back there that I really, really want to do, and I've never done anything with it. Um, that the only way, I mean, it, I was, it was like one o'clock in the morning. I thought the only way I can do this is actually do something about it. Yeah. So I bought it and Sarah was on nights again. This week she's been on nights again and it's sort of like, I want to talk it through with her. But basically, but between the time she gets up and the time she goes, it's about an hour and we've got to eat tea in that time sort of thing. Mm. It just gets really stressful like, uh, and I'm mithering about it um, on the night. But I'm quite, I'm quite settled now. I'm just happy I've had enough information that I can block him. Because the other thing was, he was texting me at night. So you've done all your work. Mm. And then you're dealing with this crap at night when you're trying to, you know, you're trying to wind down and... Yeah, the fact that he's texting you at night, that's him winding himself up at night, isn't it? Well... It could be that kind of thing, wouldn't it? It could be. I mean, he's probably not dealing... He doesn't want to deal with it at work. Um, But I've got no... I've got very little... You know, he's talking about representation. Well, well, what representation can you get at nine o'clock at night? Yeah. Give me your full name and title now, otherwise I'm going to the police. Well, he's he's probably googling things and reading things. You know, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but that, I mean, it's like you said. Surely, if you left it, then he'll he'll calm down and then forget about it. But that can go both ways. Or he drives home and wind himself up, so he actually made it much more than it was for him originally, and he's now wound up and and now he's he's wronged me. Yeah. I must get him back. Well, here's the thing, yeah. Um, so this whole transaction was conducted outside of eBay, which saves him fees. It doesn't save me any money. It saves him fees. That's yeah. That's, yeah. Right, and uh, people have been saying to me, "Well, why don't you report him to eBay?" You did it outside of eBay. Yeah. Um, Bugger. Yeah, and he'll get into trouble. And I'm like, well, and I, specifically, I said, look, it will just escalate matters. I don't want it to escalate. Yes, that's the problem. I, I just if want it to already- go away. You know, I want him to realise that he's he's, he's not getting anywhere. I mean, he uh, potentially he could cause me months of grief with this. Yes, the, the, we know we, he's got nothing to. Um, the last thing you want to do is get him back because yeah. then he'll want to get you back. Yeah, or just yeah. you know, bum 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 bum. Yeah, I just wanted to realise that. Um, yeah. But as it turns out, I got an email last night. That he <laughs> giving me a ticking off for conducting, uh, Doing sending it, him yeah. my personal details over yes. over messaging. And which means he would have got a bit of a telling off as well. Yeah. Now that's that's either one of two things. It's just coincidence, 
or he's tried to report me to eBay, <laughs> <laughs> right? And, well, it, never uh, said and it's uh, it's it's backfired on him, like. And they've said, well, no, this is not a transaction covered by eBay anyway, and there's nothing eBay can do about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know which one it is. But the fact that he wasn't doing it over eBay as well means he's that kind of, I'm not responsible for the burr. Yeah, I mean, it's My a side. stuff. I'll tell you what it is. I mean, I, I, I figured it because he gave me his business card, and I, I know where they're coming from, these IBCs. Um this is sort of like a sideline. So he's got a main business, or he works for a main business. I don't know if he started it. He calls himself a technical director. Um, doing this thing, and these are a byproduct. They're just they, just, they probably can't get rid of them. I oh, see. Yeah. So he's selling them on the side on eBay just to just to get rid of them. How dodgy is that? It's a, it could be dodgy. I mean, and so there's income. He's getting. In, I mean, that those belong to the business. Yeah. So yeah. if if he's selling those on the side, um, he's taking essentially he's taking company property and selling it on his side and keeping the money himself. That money should go into his main business. Right. Yeah. Maybe he's doing that. Maybe he's not. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So that's, I mean, that, could be dodgy, isn't that it? is a little bit dodgy. Yeah. I mean, whether anyone would actually be interested in that, I don't know. But again, I don't really, I don't want to cause a guy any grief like. I mean, the guy's got enough grief. He's got a ding in his new van, you know. I, I, I genuinely, yeah, which will feel horrible. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. genuinely understand why he feels, you know, yeah. so agree. But it does feel like he's taking it out on me a little bit. Well, of course he is. And I know there'll be people out there who, who think the opposite. Think well, well, you did this. You should have done that. Blah blah blah. blah. You I, don't know. Think, I don't think they will. <laughs> I don't have advice about how you should yeah. have conducted. But no, they won't. No one's going to say, "Oh, he's right. Yeah. You you should pay for the car car." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might have been if I'd offered him fifty quid there and then. Well, had it been resolved been... before he left, yeah, he wouldn't have thought about it. I'm yeah. sure it's him winding himself up after after you. It, left. it felt he... a little bit like an insurance claim sort of thing, or I. I because we were taking pictures of the dent and everything, and I thought, I can't, I'm not going to admit responsibility here because I don't feel responsible. Because well, he's not responsible, yeah. 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 If I offer him money, that's sort of like an omission of responsibility. Yes. Because um, there was a, definitely a litigious air to his attitude, sort of thing. He wasn't, he's not like a, um, a build, you know, a, a builder. A builder. Type. Oh, I've got my van. And, uh, Put it in the van. You know, he, he was a sort of um, mm. quite a young chap, quite. Quite hipstery, actually. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm sure he thinks. And this is my stuff. Yeah. But we'll see. Mm. I'll keep you posted. I could be in court. Can you imagine if I end up in court the day before my wedding? <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. It'd be so good. But I mean, there's there's no way he would win. No, there isn't. It's just there's nothing. And, and I mean, it, everything you told me, there's absolutely no way. You can win. But he could, he could still drag it out. I mean, the, the problem with small claims, well, it's not a problem really. It's quite useful in the sense that it's quite cheap. Yeah, I think. Um, but it will go through certain stages, so you will have to go to um, arbitration. You'll have to submit all your evidence and, and stuff like that. And it's yeah. just, but sh- I mean, surely he will get advice. Well, he's not got advice so far because everything he's told me is pretty much false. Yeah, false. Yeah. Even I would have said it was false. So, and I don't know anything. So, you know, um, uh, yeah. does assume it's false <laughs> and it being false. That's the problem. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's just got to be reasonable for a moment. <laughs> That's what it takes, isn't it? You can. Un- yeah. There's an there's an understandable element of, of escalation of, and and how he felt about his car. You know, he says he has spoken to a solicitor. It doesn't mean it's true. People lie over the internet. Yeah, well, we'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see how it um, how it plays out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's uh, it's interesting how far people will go. It, it it's, a, it's a car thing, isn't it? It's the car property thing is is a really unhealthy thing. It's it's something I've always really really tried away from. This the, the you know. Um, you see brand new Audi TTs parked outside of this manky tiny little house where their car is, <laughs> is, is more important than their house. Yeah. And it's that, and I'm sure they'll drive their car around. And, and <laughs> Everything about cars is bad. 
everything. They don't work. They're expensive. It's a con. But people, everyone, well, 50% of the people on the roads, the object is to overtake as many cars as you possibly can. And if they can't, they get very, very angry. Cars are bad in every way, in every social sense, in every technical sense, for the environment, everything. Well, apparently, terrible. it's um, young, youngsters um, going for their driving test is down. Less and less youngsters going for uh, for driving now. That's good. That's yeah. good. I mean, cars cars aren't bad. What's bad is the way we've shaped our whole society around it. Yes, the entire so society is based on cars. You cannot, yeah. It's very difficult to function in this day and age without a car. Yeah. So if you want to go shopping for food, you've got to go to a mega supermarket, which is normally on a satellite outside of yeah. uh, the main metropolitan area. It's at the top of your road, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, You've got one up there. Isn't there a Tesco up there? Uh, that's about. It's past yeah. Junction Two. Oh, it's probably. Oh, I, I mean the top of the road. I mean no. by the Madonna, isn't it? Oh, no. God, there's a little. There's a, there's a little one there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but that's the thing in cities. They tend to be a lot smaller. Yes. In towns like yeah, the, Redditch. Redditch is awesome. Yeah, big ones, but I mean again, yeah. you can't walk to them. They're too no. far. Yeah. Um. So. Everyone needs to have a car, and that's the problem. The yeah. amount of cars on the road, sort of thing. If we could get to a situation where you could have a subscription to a car, which would turn up to your house, yes, and then yeah. take you where you need to go, that would be that would be ideal. I that's think. what's going to happen, isn't it? But it's, it'll take at least fifty years, won't it? And we'll be too old to go in them by then. <laughs> I'm not going in those old cars. I don't trust <laughs> yeah. the ones. But they are annoying when they go wrong. Yeah, and it, it's a, the whole thing's a scam. The the whole industry is a scam because you have to have one. The silly prices and silly reliability and well, you say silly prices, yeah, but I mean, if we buy a piece of equipment at work, a machine, yeah, it can be an incredibly simple machine, and it will cost more than a car. Yeah, because it's for a business. Well, it's down to volume actually, because they don't sell oh. millions of them. Yeah. If you, if that was an industrial machine, if your car was an industrial machine, you'd probably be looking at over a million quid. The amount oh, yeah, of but you'd parts. be buying one of three. You wouldn't be yeah, well, be yeah, exactly. Of them yeah, around, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, actually, what you get for the amount of engineering in there, I mean, we were talking about VHH tapes earlier, weren't we? Yeah. That if you were to buy a VHS tape these days, it would probably <laughs> cost you 50 quid for one. <laughs> It's just the amount of, amount of engineering. Who thought they put all the mechanics in the tape? Yeah. yeah. Um, the amount of sophistication in a car, you know, it's uh, it's amazing, amazing engineering feat. It is that's but, killing the planet. Yeah, I mean, it is, it, but it's all legacy, and the old thing of of uh, yeah, well, this, the combustion engines legacy. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, you know, the, the old thing of this brand of car is better than this brand of car. They're not anymore. They're all the same no, yeah, chassis they and the same. Yeah, they're all based on they've, they've converged on the the best designer. Just everyone uses the same one. Yeah, so. And it's developed over years and years and years of slow, a slow creep of technology, even though they've got the technology to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Scam. Well, the, 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 the famous story in the US. I think it's worse in the US, isn't it? The sort of standards were kept low. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, that guy was investigating them and they, they got a private investigator to follow him. General Motors, wasn't it? I think. Yeah. Famous story that I can't remember. <laughs> Where that happened. A thing happened. There you go, that's chat. Yeah, there we go. We've chatted out now. Yeah. Let's do Buddy Ollie.